Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. There is a new image generating model called Z Image. Right now, they only release the Z Image Turbo version, which is a distilled version. Although it's a distilled version, it's quite powerful. And the best thing of it is that you're able to run it on Mac. Many people are wondering how about the performance on Mac. So I will do a real-time generating demo on it. The software I'm going to use is Comfy UI. Comfy UI has provided the official support for it. This is their official workflow. Please follow the instruction to download the models. There are only three models and put them into their directory. And make sure also to update the Comfy UI. If you are not sure how to install that, I had uh, several videos on installing it. Please check them out. After we download the model and start the Comfy UI server, we can start the web UI and drag the workflow onto it to load it. So this is the official workflow for the Z image. Let's take a look at it. Let's try a prompt and see how it performs on my MacBook. If you are looking for some prompt inspirations, I put them into my website. So here is a gallery for different text to image things. So there you can click on it and you can see the detailed prompt. You can click the copy button. So that makes it easier for you to copy it. And then you can modify it. Uh, I also created another website based on the recent uh, Nano Banana great uh, prompts from the community. So you can also feel free to take a look at that. For today's purpose, let's uh, try one. Let's take a look at this one. So this is created uh, by Quim Image. So let's see how the Z image can generate that. So let's uh, copy the prompt onto the Z image workflow. And uh, I will leave the other things as default. You can modify the seed, you can modify the steps. I think let's try the nine steps for now. And uh, press the run button. Okay, it's run. So here is the, the RAM, the GPU, and the CPU part. So because the Python process already loaded the model, so it takes about 23.84 gigabytes of the RAM. And we see the GPU has been uh, spiked to 100%. This is for the utilization, 100%, the render, and also the Tyler. So everything, 100%. Yeah, so all right, we see that uh, it has successfully generated the image. Wow, looks uh, gorgeous. It has uh, a very good uh, rendering of the English text. It's right here. We see the face is also generally really nice. And the finger part, it got it correct. So one, two, uh, three, four, five fingers. Although there is some artifact uh, seems to be here. But uh, overall, I think it's uh, quite a high quality output. And uh, let's look at uh, the generating time. So if you open the terminal, you can see the progress bar. So here is the nine steps. So it takes about uh, one minute and 20 seconds. So I think uh, because I'm right now doing the recording, so but previously, as you can see, it uh, shows that it takes around uh, one minute and uh, five seconds or one minute and 10 seconds. So so quite uh, acceptable. If you have a, a MacBook with bigger RAM, I think you can might be able to get a uh, faster generating. So overall, I think it's quite a nice uh, model that uh, fits well onto the MacBook. Um, also, let's see, take a look at uh, some of my previous generating so you can get an idea of it. So. Yeah, if you look at open the assets it's here, 
you see that it has uh, the one we just generated. So this one is also a realistic uh, image about a professor and also the handwriting. Wow, that's crazy. And this one is also very realistic. I think uh, comparable to some of the top uh, uh, models, like either closed or open source. So here is another one, and this one, and here. Wow, overall, I think it's uh, it's really a nice model that you can run right now, right on your Mac, Mac Mini, MacBook, or Mac Studio. Hope you find this video useful. I'll be seeing you next time. Please uh, share it and uh, subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.